In just weeks, all this activity will grind to a halt. 4,700 jobs will disappear, as will California's only automobile assembly plant. And a unique joint venture between General Motors and Toyota, currently turning out Toyota Corollas and Tacoma trucks, will be officially dead. The two automakers have been building cars at the Fremont plant called NUMI since 1984. Manufacturing manager Walter Odisho has been with NUMI for 21 years. We are the victim of the times and the economy and the downturn that was experienced. The idea of the joint operation was that GM would learn Japanese production methods from Toyota and Toyota would learn how to operate in a U.S. environment. Over the years, NUMI workers rolled out some 8 million cars and trucks. Wages at the plant here average $28 an hour, and work has been steady for people like Jose Enciso and Shea Church. Oh, I was shocked. I mean, I was, I was expecting to retire from this place, so it blew, blew my mind away. I'm a single mom, so it's pretty scary, and it seems like there's you know, lots of other people out there looking for jobs as well. And that's why some employees are trying to keep the plant open. Members of the United Auto Workers Union are collecting signatures around the country and threatening a boycott of Toyota. They're hoping to persuade the company to keep production at Fremont going. Adding to the job losses will be layoffs at San Francisco Bay Area companies that supply parts to NUMI. Some analysts predict as many as 40,000 jobs will be cut. And people who provide consumer services to auto workers, like waiters, hairdressers, and plumbers, say they are worried about losing their jobs, too. Local officials are nevertheless optimistic. They say they see NUMI's closing as a chance to bring clean industry to the area. Fremont Mayor Bob Wasserman points to a new plant producing solar panels. This is a company that will employ 3,000 people, and we're hoping, uh, if we can do it, to try to put together some arrangement where uh, employees from NUMI can be retrained into some of the jobs that they'll have here. There's no way to know now if NUMI's blue-collar workers will find work in green industry. Toyota says its decision to close NUMI is firm. Rachel Silverman for VOA News in Fremont, California.